Frogman Friday. Yeah, boy. So you're not, uh, you've already done all of this. You've already been there, gone top notch in the teams. And so what is your typical workout look like? And because I'm certain that you're not training to go do a PST, but you no, can no, probably, no. you could probably crush it, you know, right now. And Oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, 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 that, I believe that fundamentally, if you, if you can't do, you shouldn't be there. I, I fundamentally believe this to the core of my belief. If your senior leadership can't pass the PST, they have no business teaching or training you. I don't, I don't think about that, like folks, like, and it seems like, well, yeah, but yeah, but imagine having that same statement about firearms training, skydiving, demolition work, diving, mission planning, navigation, list it. But yet we're totally okay. In some capacity, I say we, it's being accepted at some level, we'll say it that our senior leadership does not have to meet a standard, but yet they are the ones that are making decisions. I just kind of want to scratch my head and I go, well, I can't solve that. So what I can do, what we can do is make our guys as resilient as they can. They can be the example. And when they become senior leaders, they can change. They can change it then. When you're a senior leader, you'll be in a position to make change. Um, I wasn't, I was too stubborn and too pig headed and too angry to, have uh, have a, a very good discussion with my senior leadership in previous. Um, so I learned the way that I learned over time and some heartache and some bad decisions and some real good ones. And now I'm in a place where, you know, like we have amazing people that come on want to come train with us. So we'll just keep doing that. That's awesome. So you, you're, uh, you know, it's the question I just asked. So what are you doing? Are you training for something today? Oh, I didn't even answer that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maintain. So my question, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, my, my primary goal of fitness is, is to, uh, to be able to pass the PST it's until, I mean, I, I think I should reasonably be able to do it until I'm in my mid sixties, if not seventies. Um, it doesn't matter. Rick Smethers, right? With, oh my 63, gosh. with 63. And then I saw him years later in Afghanistan with ground branch and still killing it. I'm like, no kidding. Right. So Rick Smethers was a CEO for us and one of two buds. Um, amazing. That's who I put on. That's who I vote for every year on the president. And I'd write his name in. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, long story. So my, my training is, you know, I, I know that the best way to, for me to maintain longevity and what I love to do is, is my, my movement quality has to be the first priority for me. It's not the big numbers. It's not these times. It's like, I know if I'm always moving as best I can, then I can properly assess things I need to do better, run faster, run more, ruck more, swim more. And so I try to stay as well-rounded as possible. Um, I cycle, you know, the same training body part cycle that we advertise for the most of our training, like, you know, legs one day, next body part and so on. I still follow that cycle and routine because um, it's, it's the best thing for me to allow, allow rest. But I, if I was going to say like in a 30,000 foot view, what do I do? I lift for strength endurance. I do a lot of reps at a, at a moderate to high percentage. So it's not quite, you know, it's not quite hypertrophy all the time. I like to lift heavy every now and again, but I like to stay as athletic as possible. I do all the movements that I can do them the best way I can and get as tired as I can without over tasking my body day in and day out. So I can do it every day. That's, that's probably not a great answer, but <laughs> It's uh, it's my routine, just kind of extended, just spread it out over time. And, and if I, if I need a break, I take a break. You know, if I go, if I travel and don't feel like training, I, I was in Austin, Texas all last week, didn't train at all. And I didn't, it's okay. You know, <laughs> so sometimes you need a break too. For sure. Well, I'll tell you on the back side of that. So you can't build mentality, like mentality, you either got it or you don't want to go past where you think you're, you could be right. But then there becomes that side of like, I trained to do a hundred mile run in 24 hours years ago. I had no coaches around me. I finally found one who said I can help you. And I started training. And what I came to realize is that you really do have to spend the time and effort to get to that point. Because while I completed it, I did a hundred miles because I wasn't, I didn't spend enough time in training in that environment. I, my recovery was an absolute disaster. And so therefore I could not perform after that for months. 
Yeah. And so that's why it's something so important that you have to put the time and effort and it's constant. It's not just one day here, or I'm going to train for a couple months and then I'm going to get after it. You have to literally can train every day or at least majority of their days every year. So you're staying with that. So your recovery is better and you can continue to duplicate that. So, uh, yeah. this is awesome, man. I, I mean, I've learned, I've learned some stuff here and I've been watching you for a while, but I've learned some stuff here today. So what I'm gathering, what we need to tell people is if you're 18 years or older, you can reach out to Jeff at performancefirstus.com. Uh, you can, if you're interested in going to any special operations or any military, but you want to up your game to be, you know, elite in what you do, you can go check him out and get in touch with him to train as long as you're willing to commit to a standard. And I mean, it's just absolutely amazing what you put, put forth here, because again, I've known you for 20 years now and nothing's changed, man. You're still hardcore into fitness. You were that way the first day I met you. And that's awesome to have that consistency. Um, what else you want to say to people before we close out here? Well, I think that I guess what I'll say this is like, it's definitely not the, the common thread that you're going to hear from the, the former team guys that like you got to find yourself some compassion in your training. You know, like you're going to, most of you guys, this is from experience, personal experience and guys that we train. Most guys are so hard on themselves because they want this so badly. Understand that we understand that, right? And so when it comes to you as a person, right, the best thing you can do to help yourself, that stress, that stress that you're putting on yourself that comes along with this, okay? With that training, I'm serious, I want to be a SEAL. And Jeff says, I got to do it for a year. And this, that's, that's a daunting task for an 18 or 20-year-old young man to do. It really is, truthfully. So be okay with that. Like you, you're probably going to encounter your family, your friends that don't quite understand why. Like, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do this? Why? Like, whatever that compulsion is and for you, just understand that. That going through a good process, trusting a process of somebody guiding you through it or a program or even yourself. You got to understand I had to, you know, Let's say for a year you lock yourself in this training program and you give it the best you can. Victory, man. Like what, what, what awesome. Like there's no loss in that. There's no losing in that. There's no negative in trying your best for any amount of time. And that's, that's why this is such a fulfilling venture for you guys is because you may feel pretty alone in your, in your journey going into spec war. I promise you that if you put the work in you put the effort in and when you as soon as you step into that special forces sort of selection pipeline you're going to find so much comfort because you'll know you've done the right thing by you and you'll start finding the other people within that selection process that did also did right by themselves so give your be patient with yourself give yourself a good timeline get into good programming and just block out all the nonsense because all that nonsense is going to make you doubt. Just focus on you and you'll be fine. It's awesome. If you're 18 or older, or if you're a parent and your child's looking to go into any kind of special operations, military, law enforcement, go to performancefirstus.com. Give Jeff a call. Rock and roll. Appreciate you being on, brother. I appreciate you, Ryan. Thank you so much. You are the man.